Hi, Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to our lesson. So for today, we are going to learn on Unit 12, Land of Glory, the unsung hero, Datuk Siti Rahmah Kasim. Okay, this is Datuk Siti Rahmah Kasim when she was young. During, before the Independence Day. What is Independence Day? Independence Day means kemerdekaan ok now let's take a look who was Datuk Siti Rahmah Kasim now let's take a look a little bit about Datuk Siti Rahmah Kasim who was Datuk Siti Rahmah Kasim she was a former teacher at Sekolah Perempuan Melayu Sungai Star, Parit Buntar, Perak. A former teacher means a bekas guru at Sekolah Perempuan Melayu Sungai Star, di Sekolah Perempuan Melayu Sungai Star, Perak. Okay. She was born in Kampung Batu Hampar, Rembau. Allah Yarham telah dilahirkan di Kampung Batu Hampar Rembau, Negeri Sembilan on 30th November 1926, 30 November 1926 and died on 24th March 2017 dan telah meninggal dunia pada 24 March 2017. She was a figure of the Bengal of independence. Dia adalah seorang tokoh, figure is tokoh, of the Bengal of independence. Gelang kemerdekaan. Now let's read. How to Tunggu Abdul Rahman, Putra Al-Hajj, Managed to go to London and how Siti Rahmah Kasim was declared telah ditabalkan as the figure of independence tokoh kemerdekaan okay, Those who are inside and outside this hall please make donations to help Tunku Abdul Rahman Pudra Al-Hajj To go to London for the sake of our people and nation, said Siti Rahmah Kasim at Dewan Hang Tuah in Bandar Hilir, Melaka, sometime in 1957. Okay, those who are inside and outside means mereka yang berada di dalam dan di luar this hall, Dewan ini, please make donations, mohon membuat sumbangan. To help Tunku Abdul Rahman Putra Al-Hajj untuk membantu Tunku Abdul Rahman Putra Al-Hajj to go to London untuk pergi ke London for the sake the me for the sake means the me of our people and nation demi rakyat dan bangsa kita said kata Siti Rahmah Kasim at Dewan Bak Hang Tua di Dewan Hang Tuah in Bandar Hilir, Melaka sometime in 1957. Pada suatu masa dulu dalam tahun 1957. That was one particular moment which the 84 year old Datuk Siti Rahmah Kasim, an unsung hero will not forget for the rest of her life. That was one particular moment satu detik khas which the 84 year old di mana wanita berumur 84 tahun Datuk Siti Rahmah Kasim and angsa hero Adiwira yang tidak dikenali will not forget tidak akan melupakan for the rest of her life sepanjang hidupnya 
Tung Ku Abdul Rahman was sourcing for funds to go to London to obtain the country's independence from the British. Siti Rahmah was the first person to donate her gold bangle, which was a gift from her father. When she heard about it, she placed her gold bangle in a red shawl and walked around the hall asking for more donations from those present. The men gave away their valuables including rings and gold watches. The women gave away their brooches, dress pins and other valuables. When Tunku came down from the stage to collect the jewellery, tears rolled down his cheeks. Watching the touching moment, the others in the hall cried too, she said. Okay, Tunku Abdul Rahman was sourcing for funds means was sourcing mendapatkan sumber, funds, dana or sumbangan to go to London untuk pergi ke London to obtain untuk memperolehi the country's independence kemerdekaan negara from the British daripada negara British Siti Rahmah was the first person Siti Rahmah adalah orang pertama to donate untuk menderma atau menyumbang her gold bangle. Gold bangle, gelang emas. Which was a gift from her father. Di mana ia adalah satu hadiah from her father daripada ayahnya. On her wedding, semasa hari perkahwinannya. When she heard about it, apabila dia terdengar tentang itu, she pleased dia meletakkan her gold bangle, gelang emasnya, in a red shawl. Red shawl means selendang merah. And walked around the hall dan berjalan sekeliling the hall day one asking for more donations meminta untuk lebih banyak derma atau sumbangan from those present daripada mereka yang hadir derma orang lelaki gave away their valuables memberikan Barang berharga mereka, memberikan barang berharga mereka, including rings, termasuk cincin, and dan gold watches, jam tangan emas. The women, orang perempuan ataupun wanita-wanita, gave away their brooches. Dress pins and other valuables. Memberikan keronsang, dress pins, pin baju and other valuables, barang berharga yang lain mereka. When, apabila Tunku came down, turun ke bawah from dari the stage pentas, To collect the jewellery. To collect the jewellery means untuk memungut barang kemas. Tears roll down his cheeks. Tears air mata roll down mengalir jatuh his cheeks dari pipinya. Watching the touching moment. Melihat peristiwa menyentuh perasaan ini. The others in the hall cried too. She said, Datuk Siti Rahmah Kasim who hails yang berasal from negeri sembilan 
is still okay, yang berasal dari negeri sembilan is still active masih active in several dalam beberapa non-governmental organizations organisasi-organisasi bukan kerajaan she said kata beliau the younger generation generasi muda should be sepatutnya inculcate inculcated memupuk inculcated memupuk with the determination and enthusiasm determination keazaman and then enthusiasm semangat to serve the country untuk berkhidmat untuk negara okay to serve berkhidmat the country untuk negara now you have understood the text about datuk siti rahma kasim and how she was called an unsung hero bagaimana dia digelar adiwira yang tidak dikenali and how she was a figure of the bengal of independence bagaimana dia menjadi tokoh gelang kemerdekaan Okay, let's understand the comprehension questions. Mari kita fahamkan soalan pemahaman. The first one, number one, who made, siapa yang telah membuat the announcement to raise the donations. Pengumuman untuk memungut sumbangan ataupun derma. Okay, number two, Tunku Abdul Rahman Putra Al-Hajj decided to go to London. Tunku Abdul Rahman Putra Al-Hajj telah membuat keputusan untuk pergi ke London. State nyatakan the reason for his action. Sebab atas tindakannya untuk pergi ke London. Number three, why do you think, kenapa kamu berpendapat people donated their jewellery and valuables? Orang ramai menyumbang atau menderma barang kemas dan harta benda berharga mereka. So we know that they donated mereka menderma so that supaya Tunku Abdul Rahman Putra Al-Hajj can go to London. Okay, Tunku Abdul Rahman boleh pergi ke London. For their sake of independence. Demi kemerdekaan mereka. So, for what would be the best title for this passage? Okay, apakah tajuk yang sesuai untuk teks ini? In your opinion, pada pendapat kamu, why is Datuk Siti Rahmah Kasim? Kenapa Datuk Siti Rahmah Kasim considered as a hero? Dianggap sebagai hero. Okay, why? Because she was the first person kerana dia adalah orang yang pertama to donate her gold bangle. Orang yang pertama menyumbang atau menderma gelang emasnya and she managed dan dia mampu to get the people mendapatkan orang ramai to donate their valuables untuk menderma barang-barang berharga mereka juga. Would you donate your valuables for a good cause? Adakah kamu akan menderma barang berharga kamu demi kebaikan? Why? Kenapa? And seven, what can we do? Apakah yang boleh kita lakukan? To protect untuk melindungi our country's independence and peace. Kemerdekaan dan keamanan negara kita. Okay, what can we do? 
to protect our country's independence and peace so we have learned before kita dah belajar tentang bagaimana kita boleh melindungi negara kita so you can use that to answer this question Okay, thank you children for joining my class today. So, I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye!